Did you know that Indianapolis is home to an annual festival exclusively for African-American playwrights? It's called Onyx Fest, and we're putting it in the spotlight tonight as it offers what organizers call an opportunity of a lifetime. And one of the biggest obstacles to getting a play produced is finding the money for it. In the coming months, a few aspiring writers will be able to take their words from the page to the stage without facing that huge hurdle. If you are chosen, uh, we're going to provide the venue. We're going to provide royalties to the writer. We're going to uh, provide a stipend for the director and for all of the actors involved. We're going to help assist with the set design and creation. We're going to help in the wardrobe category. And last but far from least, we're going to help in the all-important marketing area. Vernon Williams is director of Onyx Fest 2021. He's also a playwright himself. I was fortunate enough to have a play in 2019 that was produced as a part of Onyx Fest entitled uh, The Price of Progress, the Indiana Avenue IUPUI story. And then most recently in 2020, uh, the play Being Black. For Being Black, Williams worked with director Tajuddin Raleigh. He's been part of the Indianapolis art scene for more than a decade. You know, when you study something, it's, it's more than just entertainment, it's a craft. He wears many hats, director, actor, teacher, and more. Raleigh has been a part of many projects, even writing and producing an original musical called Believer. He and Williams say Onyx Fest is a special showcase for African-American artists. Uh, definitely a safe space. I mean, it's everything. It's not even just about art. It's about black, black people in general needing that support. It is a specific uh, problem for um, African-Americans and uh, black and brown people trying to get their uh, stories told. And then you have people who make decisions, who decide that that's not the story they want to be involved with. And if those are the money people, it can be constraining. So to have something that exists that won't put those kind of constraints on creativity is really a rare situation. Williams encourages applicants to use their imagination and experiences to help paint a kaleidoscope of the black experience. And everything doesn't have to be real profound. Um, it's, it's okay to have a comedy, a musical, a dance-oriented production, one that focuses largely on spoken word. We want to bring all the richness that is black culture and life to the stage on, in this theater project. For those who are hesitant to apply, Rowley shares this message. Believe, look yourself in the mirror and, and make yourself believe. And focus on you know, what originally sparked your story and why you're writing it. Because I'm sure it's probably to help people or to, to, to spread some awareness or to open someone's eyes to something. Submissions must be one act plays that have never been produced and approximately 45 minutes to one hour. A jury of theater professionals will read each script and pick five winners. The deadline is February 28th. You can apply at onyxfest.com. And if you'd like to watch the 2020 Onyx Fest productions, go to butlerartcenter.org.